Hello and welcome back to Avorion. My name is Benj and the rest of you might be quite good at trading, but I'm not. I'm I'm apparently rubbish at it. So I'm not even bothering. I need to make a bunch of money. I need to make a bunch of money fast so I can build a station as part of the mission that we've got. Um, you know, from our little adventurer friend. The station founding. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy is still going. I don't know why. Maybe that just never ends. Mm, who knows? Anyway, uh, Operation Exodus. We've managed to pick up another set of coordinates from a random thing that I found. And obviously reach the center is standard trading instructions. I've never been able to get that to actually buy goods from Trader. I've bought many goods from Trader as evidenced by my current inventory, which has some... Uh, maybe this is the wrong screen. Maybe I need to go to my cargo hold, which has got neutron accelerators and stuff that I have bought from Traders. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Right, we'll move on. So I need to make a bunch of money fast, and well, I just so happen to have about two and a half million uh, iron. <laughs> so, and I'm going to Mr. Resource Trader here, and I'm just going to sell off a bunch of iron, and we'll see how much money that makes me. I don't know if it makes me a lot. Hopefully it does. There's a tractor beam. Thank you very much, Mr. Resource Trader. Can I sell you? Can I sell you a lot? I don't know how much I can sell you. Let's start with one million. <laughs> oh, I'm on buy. Let's let's sell. I don't want to buy a million. That was close, wasn't it? Sell. I just sold a million. Boom. And that's taken me up to five million. Yeah, I reckon we could do it again. Boom. There you go. <laughs> now we got nine million. Easy. Yeah, it's making money in business is actually quite easy when you just let um, automated mining ships do most of the work for you. Um, yeah, maybe one day we can figure out uh, the trading. I mean. In this sector, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, my ship's doing. My ship's going all over the shop. Um, our little trading system here suggests that everything here is oh, it's above the. Yeah, this is not a good place to buy stuff from. Everything is above the uh, <laughs> deviation line. So um, we can sell everything and is buying for above the uh, deviation line as well, though. Plus 20. Well, apart from what was that minus 13 chlorine now nah, nobody wants any chlorine then huh i wonder why 22 percent basically i suspect what we have to do is have a look at this sort of thing this is at 29 percent. i think this is the the anti-grav generators let's not bloody go there again shall we I'm gonna go another bloody anti-grav instant incident um find the the highest the thing that is buying for the most plus 30 percent here on the equipment dock is buying fusion cores Fusion cores are above 30%. So uh, where, where do you buy fusion cores from? This is this is the question. So we can have a look at our little map here and we can just type in the word fusion um, and see if anything comes up. I don't think it will. I don't remember seeing any fusion anything. Fusion. Oh, wait, hang on. Fusion generator factory. Hang on. Is that a few? Yeah. I don't know, does, does fusion generator factories produce fusion cores? Who knows? <laughs> Consult the wiki. But anyway, the point is, find whatever is trading at the highest deviation and then try and find a factory that produces it and then go and buy it and then bring it back here and trade it. And that's it. Or just go about your business and let your automated mining ships gather two and a half million iron and, <laughs> and then just sell it. <laughs> Bingo, we've got like 10 million now, uh, just short of. Great, and I haven't even dipped into the equipment stuff that I have and all that. Anyway, um, so the next part of the mission is that we need to go and found a station over here. And here's an interesting thing. I've, I don't know how to build a station. Does it just give you a block or can I choose one? I don't really care what it looks like um, as long as it's stationy and it does station things. And also, I don't know which, which is the best sort of station to build or where to build it. As I assume, we can move it. Or once we got it, can we just like take it to the sector we want to build it in and then plonk it there or something like that? I need a dock. Where are all the docks? There's a dock there. I need to come above it. This ship is in the way. I want to spend most of my time just maneuvering around these stations sometimes. Okay, Mr. Shipyard, can I build uh, a ship? I assume that's what we need to do and then we go station founder and then right okay we can choose different <laughs> these are all the army of the Uxagog things the, the text is underneath the ship will be able to found stations oh oh okay right right okay so yeah you buy a ship 
you fly it somewhere and then you use it to found a station. Hmm. How much is this thing? Not a lot. It's a lot of iron and a little bit of titanium. It's a rubbish ship, but you know, you gonna build a station with it. Before we do that, let me have a look. Where do we want to build a station? Because here we got, there's a lot of stuff already here, which is good because it means like, you know, it must be busy, right? Does, does it matter so much where you build stuff? There's a trading post there and not a lot else. Metal, meat, carbon extract. Yeah, I mean, I want to found a mine, but I've got this mission to build a station. The thing is, with nine million, I can actually find. I think I could find found one of the the basic mines now. Okay, well, there's a lot of stuff around here, and I don't see why this sector that we're in right now is any any reason not to found it here. Turret stations, research, luxury food outlets, medical supplies, repair docks, all sorts. Of stuff. This is pretty good. Pretty good location. Other than that, I don't know where else. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, so, okay, let's let's buy a, a crappy ship with a station founder. Let's just do this. Let's see what happens. Okay, um, let's, let's build this thing here, which is gonna suck, but whatever. Um, can we have it in titanium, please, so it's not so sucky? That would be great. Thanks. Total cost four thousand credits. Carrier. Um, it's really bad. Wait, it doesn't actually move? Okay, whatever. I don't scale. That scales it up at least. I'm getting some serious lag doing the scaling thing. Volume. I just want I've broken it. I've broken the game. <laughs> Genuinely have, it's properly lagged up. Oh there we go, right, it's unlagged. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Can I move this damn thing? What is going on? Scaling a lot. Scale it up, make it bigger. Volume 100, station founder, add crew, plus captain, I, I don't know. Does it need a captain to run a... There's not a lot of information about doing this. Name, um, founder one, whatever. Build. Okay, uh, they give you a purchase, should be ready in... But Oh, no, if you can't read that. Something about Zeus. <laughs> Pirates. Uh, okay, well, in, in that amount of time, that little progress bar that's moving across there, uh, we all have a ship ready to go and found the station with, I guess. Um, and I guess that we just fly that to where we want to found a station. And then, and then, then, then that's it. Well, um, I'm going to go mine some rocks while that's doing that then. Well, it looks like my ship is ready. Let's go and take a look at this bad boy. Well, <laughs> Probably, sorry, excuse for a ship. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's just see what the next phase takes, I guess. Uh, so, Mr. Ship, hello. You look rubbish. But, you know, whatever. You know, you're, you're going to be a station soon, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's park current ship here. Enter this one. Hello. Oh, my lordy, lordy, lord. Um, well, this thing doesn't actually move in any way whatsoever. It doesn't go forward. Are we actually moving? Nope. <laughs> so I bought a ready-made ship from these guys, and it doesn't even move. <laughs> great, 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 great. Okay, hang on. So, step in the right direction. Well done. You have a ship you can use to found a station. Just enter it, fly it to where you want the station to be, and found a station the same way you would normally found a ship. Okay, so this button here, found station. Okay. Well, that's great. That's great and all, except it doesn't move. So, and I thought I ordered this with a crew. Oh, yeah, it does have two engineers and five mechanics. Why? Why can't it move at all? I don't understand this. <laughs> Somebody help me. Uh, exit drone, phone station, build, build. Okay. So you got acceleration, forty-seven meters squared. Required energy 500 megawatts, but it's producing three point. So, whatever. <laughs> I don't understand. Why is this not working? There is there is no reason why it's not working. I mean, there's your ship is using all the power. Your flight assist is using up your energy. Your life support doesn't have enough power. Your crew may die. Your ship is weak compared. Uh, you can't found a station this close to another station, obviously. Okay, so let's give it some generating capacity then, shall we? Uh, Neonite generators. I'm, I'm not going to be particularly uh, um, bust here. Why can't I do... Um, what is that? What have you attached to that that is put in... The, I don't know. You've attached some 
some gubbins to this thing that's causing it to to not work properly. <laughs> Let's do it another way. So what you can do is have a look at hull. Oh wow, okay, there's not a lot of hull. Hull hull? Oh there we go. That's a little bit better. So hull hull. Um doesn't really matter too much. We can make for instance that an Aonite generator. We can make this blue stuff. And presumably that's neonite already under there or something, I don't know. Let me make this one. Neonite generators, neonite generators. There we go. Generated energy is now 1.93 gigawatts, but it's still using 3.52 gigawatts. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Show all stats. Factoring current energy usage. Right. Uh, required energy 3.52. Fine. Okay. Good. So we do need... Let's turn this view thing off. All blocks. We got nice exposed generators now, which is always always nice. Uh, we do need to just add more generators. So let's get rid of these. I don't know what these are. Can we get rid of these? These useless things. Can I focus the camera on that thing? Because I don't want to delete the stuff that, I, that doesn't matter. What is all this? Why is this here? It's like a little bit of block turd. It's left over from the building process. Right. All right, a flat surface. Oh, apart from that bit there, get rid of that. Give me a, give me a mirror. Okay, good. Let's um, let's make this a bit bigger, a bit fatter, and ooh, much, much longer. Okay, maybe that's too long. What's that going to do? How much more energy is that? That's a lot. That's ten thousand nanite. That's going to add fifteen gigawatts. We don't need that much. Um, what about that? That's going to add eleven. Okay, maybe let's let's reduce it down a fair bit. About that, that's going to add four. Okay, let's go a bit bigger. We want about five. Four point six nine. There we go. Five point two seven. Bingo. Right. Good. How's that for your generator capacity, huh? Huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> Let me just just add some hull onto this in order to make it like less crazy vulnerable. I don't know. Actually, is that even necessary? I kind of feel like it is, but at the same time, it's probably not. Um, let's just add some bi-directional thrust thrusters on the end. There you go. It's beautiful! <laughs> Look at what I've done. Uh, it still says acceleration is zero. That's interesting. Why is acceleration zero? Deceleration, 80 meters a second. Is it facing the... Are these things facing the wrong way? I don't know. That is right. The arrow is correct direction uh, we now have enough energy we were generating 7.2 required is 3.5 we have no pitch your or anything okay let's come out of build mode let it update itself and then maybe it's yeah it moves it lives <laughs> it's probably gonna take about a year to get to somewhere where we can set it up uh, with with the um, as a station I don't want to set it too far away from the center of everything but also at the same time I want to set it far enough away from something else that's not going to cause an issue and also when I found found this station right well, well, well we're about to find out we're about to find out we'll see what happens in a second when I found this station we're gonna put it somewhere over here between all four gates and and again let me know in the comments I don't know if putting the station in a certain place really matters all that much how do I add crew to it without you know, being able to drive it and stuff. What does it, does it manage it on its own? Who knows? Who knows? All right. I reckon just a little bit further over here. I reckon here. Here is good. Here is good. Near the gates. Let's let's go here. All right. Decelerate. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Found station. Okay, what sort of station do we want? We've got 9.6 million to spend. Solar power plant is 8 million. Look at all these stations that are like 12 million. Gas collectors. Scrap metal traders. Scrap metal trader. Water collector. Carbon extractor. Uh, rubber factory. Oh, wonderful. A small group of alien ships has arrived, which is perfect timing. Um, please leave everyone alone. Where even are you? Oh, wonderful. They're down there. Well, you can see the army's uh, response here. We were... <laughs> this is a very well-protected sector. These guys. Look at 
<laughs> really not gonna last long. You're in trouble now, you Zotan dickheads. Um, whatever. Anyway, we can get back to what we were doing, which is founding a station. I don't know which one is the most sort of cost effective. I mean, these are all sort of base stuff. Um, let's have a quick look, actually. What was available in this sector? So we've got wine factory. What does the wine factory use? Does that matter as well? That fruits and fungi. Fruits and fungi, that's some funky wine. <laughs> What's the deal with fungus? Military outpost buys body armor. Uh, repair dots, research stations, resource dock, equipment dock. Equipment dock, I think, buys. There goes the Zotan ships. <laughs> Bye. Um, so, ooh, they build lots of stuff. War robots. Maybe we can get a war robot factory. I doubt it. Maybe we can get one of those freaking anti grav generator factories. How much are they? How much are they then? And. Huh? Anti grav generator. Was there even. I didn't even see it. High tech. Ooh. Oh! that's a unit. Gen 95 million. Nin 95 million. Well, that's a little bit out of. Uh, <laughs> it's only a little bit. Other stations, biotape, uh, resource depots, and stuff like that. They, yeah, they get they get fairly expensive. The further sort of uh, up you go. Advanced servo factory though is six point five million. Um, I want to get something around about eight million. I reckon. I reckon eight million is good. Laser head factory produces laser heads. Requires glass conductor, aluminum, 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 of course. I'm just uh energy container. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I've had a quick look at the trade system. Um, let me quickly show you, actually. So I had a sneaky little idea. And uh, where is my ship? Why can't I do it? What have I done? Oh, I'm I'm in my drone. <laughs> uh, over here, obviously, in my main ship, I have got the trade system. So let's have a look at it. Okay, what is trading at a high... Generally, a high kind of... Capacity and fruits are up here at twenty one percent for the trading post, luxury foods and stuff like that. Fruits is a fairly cheap one to do. I can't sort by these percentages yet, which is annoying. Fusion generators and stuff like that is out of my price range, so I can't really do that. It's got to be simple uh, things like fruits, like a gas, uh, something that I can afford, but is plus. So I think fruits has probably got it to be honest. And that's a four million station. Plankton at plus eighteen percent. That's a funny one, isn't it? Twenty satellites. I think are beyond me. Um, turbines. Turbines. In fairness, I don't know. Actually, that's a good shout. Turbines. Um, and then each time I come to this one, I've got to then go back to that one and, and so on and so forth to find the right thing. Um, so turbines factory. What do you reckon that is? Do you think there's an advanced factory? I think it is. Um, but I can't see it. Turbine factory is 24 million. So yeah, probably not. So um, I'm probably, I think for the first, my first station uh, is going to be a fruit farm. <laughs> it's in my price range and it's trading well at three different stations in this sector at the moment. Uh, albeit one of them is at minus four at the moment, but that's not too much of a big deal. The other one is at 21%. So that's pretty good. Uh, so transform into a fruit farm. This action is irreversible. You're about to transform your ship into a fruit farm. Um, <laughs> your ship will be become immobile. If required, will receive production extensions. Due to a systems change, all turrets will be removed from your station. Building a station expands your influence in this sector. Taking over a sector implies uh, impacts your relations with local factions. Okay, is this going to be? Is this going to make it bad? Then it's going to make them pissed off. I don't think it will. Let's do it. Buy insurance for your station so you get your money back when your station gets destroyed. Oh! Look at all this stuff! Right, okay, so yeah. Wow, my, my station sucks at the moment, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a rubbish station. So I have to build I have to build a bit to look like that, do I? I have to do that manually. Okay, alright, so insurance plan. Uh, your ship is not insured. It's a station. It's by, by full insurance, 100% ship value. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, right, what does it say next? Congratulations on your station. Good job. You found a station. It's still a little small. You should expand it and hire a sign more crew. Next time I come to the sector, I'm sure I'll find a magnificent station. Great. Okay, so I do actually have to build it and stuff. 
Fine, your ship is weak compared to others in the sector. I know, because it's a space station, not a... Alright, so, um... <laughs> okay, let's have a look at build mode then. This is a station, apparently. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm going to build it out of titanium because I've got 2.1 million titanium, I guess. But there are some things like, I don't know what... There is docks, I suppose, is there? I need lots of cargo space. Do I need uh, actual production uh, stuff, I guess, in order for it to produce? I don't know. There's very little information about actually how what, and what you got to do to build a station. So trade goods. Factory can't produce because ingredients are missing. Well, of course, right, okay. Buy, sell from others. Sell goods to others. Actively request goods. Actively sell. Delivery goods. Delivery repair. Oh, my lord, right, okay. Fetch goods from stations. Why would I fetch stuff from the turret factory? Okay. Um, I suppose I didn't actually look at what, you know, fruit factory actually needs. It needs an energy cell and water. Uh, water is... Prices for water are 20% higher in this region because there is a higher demand for this good. This is a regional effect and has no influence on the amount of traders visiting your factory. Fine. Okay. <laughs> You, this factory can have up to two productions running in parallel. Upgrade price. So what does upgrade do? Upgrade to allow three parallel productions. Oh, okay, okay. So if it... Yeah, all right, fine, fine. Uh, right, this is a bit of a learning curve, isn't it? Uh, so I guess I can take things like the engines off. That's no longer necessary, is it? And... Um, oh, okay. I'm just going to do bulk selection here because this is uh, ridiculous amounts of time. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents. Well, I think maybe I'm going to be in build mode for a little while, uh, trying to figure out how to build a space station that produces fruit is going to work. Uh, let's start with taking off all the thrusters, of course, because this thing is now immobile. But generally, I don't mind really the, the overall look of this thing. It looks kind of... Funky, I guess. What is that? Titanium dock. Oh, okay. So we got a dock on a thruster. Fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going to need that. We're going to need docks, aren't we? <laughs> Let's take all of that off. We're going to take all of that off. And we're going to we're gonna build big gantries like we build in, we see in the normal stations. I'm going to try and make it look like a sort of blending in kind of thing, I guess. Uh, also, does, um, can I, a station's a thing? Templates, turrets, workshops, ship designs. These are all just ships, right? Stations aren't a, aren't a thing. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> the, probably there might be actually some on the workshop. Workshop ship designs. Um, I don't know. Okay, fine. We will build something. Let's build something. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. My station. <laughs> Painted it. It's got a lot of solar panels and it's got a lot of storage. Three docks. That way, and that way, and this way. Um, it's got some shields. These little pods on the bottom underneath the solar panels here are all cargo bays. So it can hold a lot of stuff. These things on the bottom here are the actual production assembly things. Oh, I gave it a hangar bay as well we can enter the station can't we so now it's got it's got three cargo shuttles that go about some business if I go back onto the trade goods here um, what are you out of you're out of something you're out of probably water again so y y yeah well it's out of oxygen it's out of everything <laughs> it's out of everything uh, not enough water not enough oxygen and probably the energy cells are running a bit low as well that's fine. I mean, yeah. I mean, we could probably set energy cells we can get from the turret factory if it's got any oxygen and water. It has to rely on traders to bring in. So, at the moment over here, I've got it set to uh, to send to trade it with the trade post, the wine factory, and the luxury food factory. It's also actively requesting goods so other traders can come along and drop goods off. In fact, I think I can hear the tractor beam pulling one in now. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty sweet. So that's trader is going to come off and, and probably drop some water off or something. Um, but yeah, 
here she is, um, and she's making no money whatsoever. <laughs> I think, anyway, has it got a profitability thing here? Okay. Uh, oh, wow, yeah, no, it actually has made some, it's made 95,000 profit. Brilliant. Money gained. But then this is because I've actually, I mean, before I started recording here, um, I actually went out and got a bucket ton of oxygen and water and filled it up from the ship, which of course it didn't need to then buy from traders. So uh, we can probably see down here in a minute what it's, what this trader is going to sell, if anything. Um, I suspect it's only going to be oxygen or water and then the factory should hopefully be able to start again. I don't, don't think it uses many energy cells, so hopefully the 86 is going to still last for a while. But yeah, there we go. We have a station. I think what I'm going to need to do is just go out and get another bucket ton of oxygen and water. Um, which means, because there's actually some nearby, I search water, we've got three um, water extractors, collectors, whatever they are, nearby. So we should go and check those out. But yeah, we, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am now the proud owner uh, of a station, another group of alien ships, crying out loud. Yay! I'm a fruit seller now. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Ow! Are you attacking my customers? Ow! Die! Bitch. Anyway, let's go get some water. And stuff. So I transfer, I don't dock with my own station, it's very strange. Oh, what's going on there? Lots of, this, this sector is just carnage. Why did I move into this sector? I don't understand why. Okay, uh, 1363. 1363. Over you go. Boom, you've got lots of oxygen now. Um, energy cells. You're actually, yeah, it's still our water. Yeah, okay, that's going to be the main thing, I think, is, is water. We can warp over there, though. So I'll, new warp drive. Did I show you guys? Yeah, because we defeated that dude in the last episode. I now have that one, which is uh, pretty good. Plus 10. Plus 10 uh, sectors. So in this sector, water collector at plus 30. You sons of the hatches. Why are the water collectors so expensive around here? One more. Another one over there. Let's see if this one's reasonably priced, eh? Water. Plus 50, you bastards. Why is water so expensive? <laughs> That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Fine, I guess we'll have to... Uh, well, actually, we have got these guys over here. So we're now allied with them or anything, but, uh, you know, they might do uh, They might do water a little bit cheaper. Are these guys... No, they're not doing water collectors. These are gas collectors. Sorry. I'm getting confused. So they're the only water collectors in that region. Are these really overpriced ones? Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Fine, I will get the plus 30% water because my factory is in desperate need of it. But other than that, I hate you. 10,000 water acquired. Steam Achievement Merchant unlocked. I don't know what, know what that means, but whatever. Uh, head back to our factory now and then we we'll fuel it. I am seeing down in the bottom left though, they are selling a lot of fruits now for, you know, there's every little 11 fruits sold, 11 fruits sold. I think that is my little cargo shuttles that I put in there, just going back and forth and uh, selling them to the luxury food manufacturer and factory and stuff like that. So you know, yeah, I think it's doing pretty well. We just got to find out a way eventually of getting an endless supply of water and oxygen and power cells for it. But that might come with a few more stations later on. Um, I don't actually need to dock with you. I just need to get close to you, don't I? Let me interact. Transfer crew, cargo, water, 10,000. Now, at this point... Ooh, I'm too far away. Right, fine. I don't know whether, how close we need to be in order to do this, but let's get within... Yeah, <laughs> very close. <laughs> Boom. At this point, you might actually sell the water to other traders and stuff, which is kind of annoying. But there we go, it's got energy cells, it's got water, it's got oxygen, and it has fruits. It is going to be running for a while now. I think we can just leave it going and off it will go. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I have 
a fruit station. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's tiny compared to all the other stations. All the other stations around here are massive. This thing's like, yeah, whatever. I've got two little production things at the bottom. I don't know whether they're the right size, but they seem to be producing fruit pretty quickly. Um, I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. There goes a little cargo shuttle. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. It works. I like it. Um, I'm in my little drone now. How did I? No, I want to go back into the big ship. I want to go back into the big ship, please. Thank you. There we go. Right. So now I have these two like fighter bays on the bottom of the ship. So two massive cargo boxes, another space for two two more massive cargo boxes if we want it, and then two fighter bays near the front. Um, yeah, I might see about getting some fighters because we received hangar fighter instructions from our Airwolf the Adventurer dude. He seems to like to give us lots of missions we can't complete. Uh, just oh, another distress signal, go away. Uh, like trading instructions. No, it's still not there. Yeah. Uh, buy three mining fighters. Okay. We need three mining fighters. So we need the equipment dock. He is over there. Okay, Mr. Equipment Dock. Can I have some fighters, please? No. Well, I got an, I got an R mining fighter. That's pretty cool because uh, I assume that they will obviously drop off um, the raw ores. Working like a bit like the mining lasers, really. But um, we can't find any more asteroids. We'll move on then. <laughs> Go somewhere else. <laughs> Uh, before I do this, though, I think what I need to do is create uh, a squad. So we can we can bin this squad now because actually we can rename it to um, miners. Miners one. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay. We'll have a squad. Then we'll buy one mining fighter from here. We'll have to go looking for another one somewhere else. Well, they, they do have another mining fighter there, but kind of want this is a titanium one as well it really would be good to get like here we got an R salvage neonite salvage fighter really would be able to get and that's a trinium one but not an R am I being greedy maybe let's just get the trinium one I can't must be docked I thought I was I was literally what is that what is that why do you undock like that stop that annoying mining fighter trinium must be docked again seriously thank you right good good now i need pilots let's grab three pilots because the mission is for three got me three pilots i have a mining fighter look at that thing that looks great doesn't it uh we need another equipment dock to go get more though and there is another one around here somewhere i know well these guys have one nearby somewhere there's a fighter factory as well we could possibly visit yeah there we go fighter factory down there let's pop over to the fighter factory and see what he's got okay mr fighter factory have you got anything for me good sir pretty please with a cherry on top i can build a fighter that's pretty cool i need a blueprint though <laughs> uh trade equipment fighters Mining fighter, neonite one. Get you. What? You must be talked to the station. Is this seriously? <laughs> it's going to be my day today. Dock to the damn station already. Mining fighter. Bye. Cool. Uh, I'll have another one then as well because you've got actually a bit of a stop there, haven't you? Okay, so there's our mining fighters. We've got three mining fighters now let's have a look at our mission collect 2500 trinium with fighters okay mining fighter squad is ready i guess uh now we need to go find some trinium asteroids now they are a bit i think there's there's a few around here but they are a little bit rarer around here than they are other places I've been a little bit further up. So we can have a little float around these asteroids in our mining system. Possibly nothing to refine. All right, fine, move on. We've got a titanium asteroid there. Okay, neonite up there. 
I need a nice blue line. Let's head up a bit further up. So there's... Right, here we go. 1,500 asteroids. Oh, hello. Blue. Oh, no, that's the warp, of course. 1,500 asteroids over there. Shablam. Okay, we got some pirate scum to deal with. They're uh, they're interdicting my warp drive. Well, that's fine. They can they can attempt to keep me, but they can't hold me for long. There's also a valuable object around here somewhere. Uh, I think this is an area where I, I may have already claimed. No, maybe not. We're going to deal with these pirates, though. Um, right, weapon systems online. Come on, give me a bit more of a challenge. Nope. Never mind. You tried your hardest. Okay, well, there we go. We can turn off our weapon systems now. Now, let's have a look. There's a lot of wreckages around here. Are these all wrecked ships? Look at this. Are you seeing this? Wow. Get me salvages out. Jesus. What happened here? <laughs> a lot of dead stuff. Oops. Like that. All right, I see a massive trinium asteroid down there. Let's go for that. Okay. Get into position. Look at this beast. That is a monster trinium asteroid. Holy cow. Hell yes. Right. So, if I park here... And then we use our mouse and then we tell them to go and harvest, I guess. Off they go, off the bottom. And they go straight to a titanium <laughs> asteroid. <laughs> Brilliant. Look at them go. <laughs> Imagine having like 60 or 70 of the buggers flying around an asteroid field. That's pretty cool though, they just go off and uh, do their thing. I like that. All right, we're going to hit this bad boy with our uh, neonite mining lasers for a while. I wish I could lock the uh, turrets and look around while I mine, that would be nice. <sighs> 201, can't find any more asteroids. Move on then, dude! Lady? What the hell are my miners doing? Look at him go! Yes, look at him go! It's so cute! <laughs> I like that. That's cool. I might have to invest some more into those bad boys. Right, you uh, you guys crack on. You know, I do want you actually hitting the trinium thing here with me so that it counts for the mission, because I'm not sure if I mine it, you know, it's going to count. I think it needs to be done by you guys. Collect 2,500 trinium with fighters. Yeah, yeah. So maybe I should be hitting up all the asteroids other than the trinium one just to remove it so that the fighters concentrate on the big trinium one. Maybe that's what I need to do. Okay. Well, uh, so that's, uh, I've done that with me, me little mining fighters have done that. It's now asking me to buy three armed fighters. Well, I, I, I'm probably not gonna do that for a while. I'm gonna leave that for a bit uh, and maybe come up with slightly better ship for this sort of job. I don't know, the, uh, he's got a good capacity, I think, in a fighter with the two fighter bays there and stuff like that, but I'm not quite happy now. Now that I've added fighter bays to this thing, I'm now not happy with the design. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, that's, that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. That is pretty much it. I am just going to hammer up some trinium here, trying to stay away from the alien ships that have just come in and absolutely slaughtered one of the other ships that was in this sector. I'm going to stay away from those guys. Uh, I'm going to mine enough trinium for a new boat and uh, well I might see about well I, I guess it's just sort of more of the same now really we need to we need to keep mining for trinium and stuff like that I want to try in the next episode setting up an assembly line to see if we can produce our own fighters and things like that um, oh crap e bastard uh, I'm under attack, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to end today's show with a fight, I think. If those are the ones that are going to come and get me. I'm going to need to close the gap down on this guy. He is using some weird long-range lasery things. 
Get my plasma laser things on him. There goes his shields. You are going bye bye, Mr. 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 Alien Man. There you go. Thank you for all your um, neonite scrap, though. Oh God, we got more. We got more. How much more? Problem with like lasers and projectiles is that obviously lasers are kind of insta hit, whereas projectiles you need to kind of lead the target to some extent. Um, they're less effective. We are now got multiple ships on us. Our plasmas are ripping through their shields. This guy's hitting me with some Tesla thing. I am not really well equipped at the moment for combat. I have taken a lot of my turrets off in favor of mining turrets. So these guns are doing well considering under, somewhat underpowered at the moment. There goes another one. Oh, I love that orange. Thank you very much. What is that? That is a turret control system. Oof. That makes it hit me pretty like, viciously. All right, boys. Oh, my little laser point defense turret. <laughs> it's pretty cool. These guys, yeah, you just stand still while I just smash you to pieces. That'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> well, obviously, I was uh, out of range of some of them. I think my Gatlin was the only one in range there. This guy's got some shields up, not for long. Plasma to the win. Tulu. Lamo. There we go. There's a few more ships left, but they're all the way over there. I don't think they're giving me any more grief from now on. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to mop up now, and then uh, I'm going to see about, hopefully in the next episode, we'll have a bunch of fighters and stuff, and a plan for a new boat that we're going to go into the next area with so i think the next area is xenion and Organite, and then of course we're then on to avorian thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you next time until then take care bye bye